Hello YouTube, this is Patrick, and uh, this is my review for Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 10. And for the first time since early on this year, thank God, this is what I'm talking about. Finally, a, a good, solid, all-around episode. I almost can't believe it. This is probably going to be so much of a shorter review, because I'm going to have nothing to complain about. Um, I could nitpick, but I'm not here to nitpick. I'd rather just, you know, say what was good and say what was bad. And to be honest, this was one hour that flew by. I looked forward to finding out. Um, right from the opening, there was a cold open. You know, the cold open that kind of flashed forward. I was happy to see that it didn't flash forward to the end of the episode. Uh, it was only about halfway through, which was nice. Because uh, they did the whole flash forward thing early on in the season. And I thought they were just repeating it. Uh, but they didn't. It was a little different. And uh, that was great. Most of the cast didn't appear in the episode, which was also pretty good. Uh, I'll get to that toward the end, um, but to dive into it, all the stuff with Rick and Shane and the other guy was was awesome. You know, uh, from everything from the beginning with their discussion at the crossroads. I mean, these scenes had like you know real dramatic weight to it. They were discussing real important you know things that had been going on from at least the beginning of the series. So you know, this was big stuff. All the zombie stuff was great. The zombie stuff in the show usually is you know so well done. That's why people kind of want more of it. It's not just like you want to see zombies get their heads blown off, but you usually the show does that part so well. Um, it was great this week. Some creative uh, kills with Rick shooting the guy through the mouth to shoot the other one through the head. Um, stabbing them, which I don't think that would really work, but, you know, whatever. Um, Rick and Shane had a nice fight. Um, that was like, kind of a long time coming. Uh, they teased us with uh, Rick was going to leave him, um, and then he didn't, he saved him, um, which kind of endears, which should at least calm Shane down a little bit uh, with, what, three episodes to go. It also kind of resolved last week's cliffhanger uh, with Laurie telling him, you know, Shane says this and that, so it makes that, uh, that... At least that part of it's not going to be dragged out. It's going to be or drug out. It's just going to be something else might happen now, but it'll be something different. Um, it's not going to be the same thing. Um, so yeah, so that's that's cool. Um, the I was getting annoyed with Rick about his whole you know we can't kill this guy, we can't do this. Um, so it was nice to see how the episode played out. That he was going to leave Shane, and then he he didn't. Um, and uh, the really the whole episode is really about like making those like choices. That's what uh, was going on in the farm in the episode too. Uh, which again, hell, even that stuff wasn't boring for a change. Um, it you know, some pretty serious discussion about suicide and all that stuff, and uh, you know, really finding out you know when it comes down to it, can you actually do that? Uh, which was the exact same thing going on with Rick and Shane. It was the same discussion, so the episode had a well-rounded, like, you know, thing going on here. Uh, and I was so impressed and so happy um, for a change with this show this season. Um, I, at first, I really didn't like the scene between Laurie and Andrea because it was basically the two of them just being, you know, just two pains in the ass. Uh, instead of speaking to each other, one was just insulting the other one. Um, you know... Andrea saying that it's the same thing that, you know, Dale yanking her out of the um, the control center is the same thing as, you know, stopping that girl from killing herself. It's completely different things. Andrea, you didn't have anybody anymore, and that girl's got a sister and a father, so it's completely different, so shut up about that. Lori's talking about, you know, you should be doing more laundry and cooking. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. And then we got, um... And Andrea's just, like, leveling insults, like, oh, you should be happy that your husband's come back, your son's come back, and, you know, you got a kid on the way. It's like, all oh, that can change in, like, one hour. So, like, what are you talking about? Excuse me, what are you talking about? Um, and I thought her decision to originally uh, do what she did was going to be just stupid and a horrible thing to do, but it ended up surprising me. I didn't think of it, think of it, think it through that way. Um, so, again, I was impressed. Um... And I look forward to seeing where we go from here. Um, I hope they can utilize the rest of the cast the way they, you know, they use the this group uh, in last night's episode. We'll see. Um, 
So we only got three to go, so the momentum shouldn't stop. It should really just, like, you know, if we come back next week, we've got another slow episode of, you know, nothing going on on the farm. Uh, I'll be pissed off, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Um, and basically, to sum it up, I guess, uh, the idea that not every character was in the episode is nice that the show can recognize that we don't need everybody here for it to be a good episode. You know, certain characters can stay out. Um, any week, main characters. You know, if Rick isn't in an episode one week, that doesn't mean anything. Episode can still be good. Um, you know, that none of that matters as long as the episode is good. And sometimes you, to play to a strength, when you have a huge cast, you let some of them, you know, sit on the back burner for a week or two. Not like what they did with T Dog this season, who's basically been not, you know, he's been walking around as a ghost pretty much. But whatever. Um. I heard originally that one of the things Frank Darabont got fired for is that he originally wanted, um, like a standalone episode to open season two about the the zombie that Rick encountered in the the tank in the first season, just an episode that showed everything to the point of him getting bit and turning into a zombie pretty much, and just have the show like sprinkled with like one hour like mini movies, um, throughout random seasons. Like that's what he wanted. It's a fun idea because, um. It's different, you know. It'll kill an hour of like let's see, think of an episode this season that was just pure nonsense that we had to sit through, and it could have been a decent you know hour that at least maybe was away from the main action, but it could have been good, as opposed to shit, which some of the hours were. So, you know, why not? Why not do some of that stuff? They won't now because that was one of the reasons Darabont apparently got fired. So, um, but still, I hope they learn from this. They cast the. For anyone that's read the comic books, they cast the governor for next season. I'm not, I forget his name. He's a British actor. So it's nice to know that that storyline's coming in. That'll be very, very different from the farm. Um, and that's for season three. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So things all of a sudden here are looking up a little bit. And we'll see if they can stay that way. I hope they can. Um, great work by all the actors in the episodes. In the episode tonight. Last night, rather. Just... I was impressed. I can't believe it. And um, the Oscars were okay. Uh, knew the artist was going to win. Wasn't happy about it. I saw the artist. You know. Good movie. Not great. Once again. Just like last year. King's Speech. Oscars. Anyway. That's it. See you guys next week. Adios.